It is Sunday. We're heading into the woods again. Yesterday, I saw those three does and watched them for a while. They were bedded down not far from me. Uh, it's pretty cool. Sitting for the morning today, maybe a little bit of the early afternoon, but um, not gonna be able to sit all day. So trying to get in there quickly and cautiously, but I've been seeing deer now. It seems like you know late morning between 8 and 10 a.m. typically. So I kind of expect that to happen again, but I'm gonna work my way in there very carefully just in case. Uh, they seem to be coming from a, a different ridge and then crossing over onto my side and making their way to bedding. It's cold again, 20 degrees or so. I think it'll warm up later in the afternoon, maybe into the 40s, but this morning's gonna be cold, so hopefully the deer movement's good. And this might be, unfortunately, my last sit. We'll see, I've got a lot of stuff going on here. The, the season ends in a couple weeks, and I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to get back out. So those of you who hunt public land and it's not very close to you, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. It's, uh, it can be hard, you gotta dedicate a lot of time to make sure you can get out so I'm hopeful I can get out again but I'm not sure so I'm approaching today as if it's my last and yeah I'm excited a little anxious given the might be the last and I'll keep you guys in the loop and uh, yeah let's hunt pressure update I again I'm seeing no one so far so that's pretty cool yesterday there was no one in the morning, afternoon got pretty crowded. But yeah, I mean, it's looking good right now. So fingers crossed. And you know, other than that one day, I really haven't had a huge issue with where I've been set up anyways. So that's always nice and hopefully it stays that way, but looking good for the morning so far.
haven't seen that doe again. I didn't see her move off. She probably went in the other direction, I'm guessing. But before I leave, I feel like I gotta give it one last shot. My plan is, I guess, to move like a squirrel if I can. So, you know, a couple steps and stop. Um, two or three at a time. Go slow and see if I can get over that ridge and see if she's there. Might as well, right? Well, that was a failure. Nothing over there. Uh, I think she had to have gone the other way. I, I mean, there's another bedding area up on the other side. Over there up the hill. I'm sure she went up there, around, and up, which would make sense, but I had to check anyways, so, unfortunately, that's all she wrote for me, I've got to make my way out now, um, sucks, but it's very peaceful here, at least, and, uh, there's a, a rifle range not far from here, and usually that's going off constantly, so, not happening today. It's been nice just to have the quiet uh, woods here. All right, as I uh, am leaving here, figured I would get a shot at the bedding area that the does were in yesterday. So, yep, this is where they were. They were laying down right here in this little kind of ditch. Well, not even a ditch, just like an indent right here and here. And I was back that way. So, it's pretty cool. Well, that's all she wrote. That is the last day of the season for me. Well, likely. I mean, I can't foresee myself being able to sneak away and, and get out there again, but I mean, if I can, awesome. I'm going to try, but that, that looks to be like it's going to be the last day. So, um, definitely learned a lot this year. Pretty fitting that it ended just how it started. <laughs> Obviously, I was hoping it would have ended with a harvested deer. Uh, you know, the goal for me getting into this, build a freezer, learn hunting, not just from the standpoint of, you know, how to track and and find the animals, which I was able to do that, so I got that, um, but how to execute the shot, failed at that, as we saw, or as at least as you guys heard, I didn't get that on video, unfortunately. Um, but then also go through the entire process, you know, the, the blood trailing, the skinning, gutting, quartering, and then processing all the meat, everything like that, you know, I haven't done any of that, and that's a huge part of the process that I really wanted to learn this year. Um, so that's frustrating and, and unfortunate, but I feel like I have a lot of knowledge base that I can build off of for next year, which is good. And, you know, I'm just going to keep at it. I'm probably going to revamp some of my equipment. I went pretty heavy on the budget side for a lot of stuff this year, mostly because I knew I would get out in the field and start using things and figuring out what I like, what I don't like, what I might need or don't need. And whether that's, you know, from clothing to some, some of the archery equipment that I have. So I'll revamp some of that and I'm going to certainly keep practicing. I mean, I took the archery piece very seriously. I got that last January and I've shot so much all the time and I'm going to make sure I continue to do that. I want to be a better archer and ideally be a better hunter, but you know, it was a good sit. It was quiet. It was nice to have the peace and quiet and Unfortunately, I didn't really see any deer, although I saw that doe from far away. Yeah, so it was it was frustrating that I didn't have the encounter like I did yesterday, which was super cool to see that, and I went back to the bedding area. I got some footage of that, and, you know, just to see the doe, she was really far away, and she clearly just went the other way, and that was about it. And that happened around the time that I had been seeing them, and I kind of figured that was kind of the nail in the coffin for the day, and that ended up being the case, so... Um, it's, yeah, it is what it is, and 